So I picked up this trailer tongue box from Harbor Freight and I'm going to install it onto my trailer. I got other projects going on here on the trailer too. But right now what I'm looking at, all I did was to line it up fairly close to the edges like that. I'll straighten that out a little bit. And I started to drill holes. I'm thinking I'm just going to drill four holes, one in each corner. I got the first one drilled right here, and we'll get some stainless steel hardware and bolt her down. So far, that's the plan. So this is the, some of the hardware that I'm using to mount the box on the tongue. I've got all stainless steel. Um, we got five sixteenths uh, by well, I don't know how how long it is, and stainless steel. Um, stop nuts, some fender washers, some lock washers, so that's what's going on. So the first one, I drilled a hole down there in the corner, inside, but as you'll see, I wanted to put the fender wash in there to give it a little more strength, and it was too close to the wall, which is fine, so I just put it in a vise, and I bent it over the hammer, and I basically made it work that way. So. Now we'll do that on the rest of the uh, the corners. Um, one thing I want to mention is with this particular build, this is a crossbar right here, and I don't want to have to drill through that as well. So uh, inside, I'm going to move the hole a little further back so it goes down into here, and I don't have to drill through double lick, double thickness of that frame. So. We'll get back to drilling. So I just drilled the pilot hole, uh, the second hole here, and I set it back so that I didn't hit that frame piece. That's that's pretty close. <laughs> I missed it, uh, but um, good guess on my part. So now we'll open up those holes up to 5 sixteenths, little by little. I'm using about three different sizes of drill bits. Um, this little one first, and then we're gonna work our way up. And just for the record, I broke one already. Alright, so we got the two holes done. This side. Now I'll switch over to this side. Alright, so with two of the holes drilled on the left side, and make sure that they're in place before I start drilling holes on the right side so that I know that everything lines up. So with the uh, the box in place over here, which is not the case right now. I started drilling the two holes on that side so that it would mark the frame on this side. So we've got the first pilot hole drilled. Now we'll work our way up to the 5 sixteenths.
Clean up some shavings. What is? I have a pretty strong magnet here. I'm gonna put a just a rag around it, like so. Roll it up, and the clippings are metal shavings are in the in the rag. And I'm just taking a little bit of cleaner here and cleaning off the oil because I'm gonna just give it a quick squirt squirt of uh, spray paint to try to slow the rust down a little bit. Now that I've got bare metal inside the hole. I'll do it inside the box here as well. <laughs> Get right in the face, right? Don't know how much good that does, but makes me feel better. All right, so we've got all four holes drilled and bolts and fender washers put in place. I kind of eyeballed it when it came to bending the fender washers. I will climb underneath and we'll put the stop nuts and washers underneath. All right, so after getting a, a third hand from my brother um, to hold the um, wrench on the top here, I climbed underneath and tightened these up. So let me show you what's going on underneath. Oops, sorry. So that's basically what we did. Use the uh, stop nuts, flat washers down here, and just cranked them good and tight. So you'll see the extra cross member that they made the trailer with and I wanted them, how I wanted to miss that. So, so there it is, the uh, Harbor Freight trailer tongue box successfully mounted to the tractor supply tra uh, trailer. I'm thinking it's working.